Format-wide is probably the simplest of the three major PowerShell formatting commandlets. We run get process, pipe that to format-wide. It's just a simple two-column list. Now, format-wide can only display one property's values, and if you don't specify a property to display, it will default to displaying a name property, simply because most objects have a name property, and the name property usually contains something interesting. But I could specify a different property, ID, um, you can tell it to use more than two columns. And if you want, you can have it auto-sized to fit as many columns as it thinks it can. That's, well, that's a little bit much. I think I'd actually prefer something like that with a little bit more white space between those columns. If we look at the help for format wide, you'll see that you know, that's about the, the limit of what it's designed to do. Uh, you can specify a single property, have it auto-size, or specify a number of columns you want. It can also do the group by thing, although that's a little bit less useful. Uh, for example, let's see, we could do a get service, sort by status, and pipe that to format wide, so that's its alias, FW, and ask it to group by status as well as displaying the property status. And it does grouping, it's just that you know, it's not really useful because it doesn't tell us which services are stopped or running because it can only display one property at a time. So there are some uses you might find for that, and now you know where it is. A little bit less flexible, but it's nice that it creates a, a more compact display. So when you need to look at a lot of different things, uh, like getting all of the processes format-wide, uh, it's a little bit of a, a neater, more compact way to view all that.